Hello, plant tribe, and how is everybody doing today? I hope you are fantastic. I am fantastic today. I have tons of energy I'm trying to bang out some videos for you guys. Um, and I see these videos all the time, and I figured it's something that I would like to share with you guys because I haven't done it before. And I'm like, why haven't you done it? And I'm like, I don't know. So today, oh, wait, hold on a second. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> for those of you who are new, hi, I'm Nikki. This is my channel, Plants, Pots, and Whatnots. And for those of you who are returning, like the gluttons for punishment that you are, welcome back. It is amazing to see you as always. So anyway, about why we're here today, um, I'm going to do like a top five. I think I'm going to do a top five series. Um, so once a month, maybe more often than that, whenever I feel like it. Um, I'm gonna do a top whatever video. So today, I'm gonna show you, because I know a lot of the time, I mean, a lot of the time you see all the Instagram worthy plants and all the plants that are doing great and look pretty, but the sad and real reality is that things aren't always fabulous. Not all of our plants are perfect. And although I do tend to spend a lot of extra time making sure that my plants are super healthy, they have everything that they need, the reality is that I have plants that are sad too. And I would like to share with you my top five sad ass plants. So if that sounds like something you'd like to stick around and watch, then please stick around and watch and we can all cry together. Okay, you stayed around for the sadness. That's great, you sick puppies. Okay, so the first plant that I want to show you is one that I was so excited when I got, when I got it. <laughs> And it, it wasn't an excruciatingly cheap plant either. And it's one of those plants that I have struggled with. I think I know what the problem is and I'm working on rectifying that as we speak. But as it currently stands, she ain't pretty. So folks, I would like to introduce you to plant number one. My Anthurium beachii. So, this plant, can you hear that? Girl, that's crispy. Here's some more crispy. Now this is a new leaf, which I'm hoping doesn't get crispy um, because all of the other leaves on this plant are sad. So, I think that I had this plant a little bit too far away from the humidifier. Um, and I also think the other problem with this guy was that it was not, so there was a substantial root system on this plant and then I repotted it into this huge pot last year when I didn't know any better. And I just don't think that it appreciated it. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of things that I'm working on correcting with this plant. I have moved it closer to humidifier so it does bump up the humidity a little bit. Um, I, it seemed the happiest when I had it in lower light. Don't get me wrong, I didn't have this thing like directly under a grow light or anything like that to make this crispy. Um, but I, I did end up pulling it out of that spot where it had lower light and I put it in a spot that had a little bit brighter light and I don't think it liked that. So I'm working on correcting some of that stuff soon. So you guys will have to stay tuned to see if the changes I'm making are gonna work. Um, but I'm just so disappointed in myself and in this plant. So that is plant number one, my Anthurium VCI. And can we all just pray for this leaf please? Let's move on to the next plant. Okay. 
This is the next plant I have to show you. Can you even tell what it is? <laughs> I don't. This one has really got me stumped. Like most of the other ones I'm like, okay, yeah, I know what I did there. This one I got nothing. So this is a um, peace lily, just the regular old green variety. Here's a picture of my domino peace lily who's killing it. Now this plant started to, so it was in terracotta. And as you know, or if you don't, peace lilies require an obscene amount of water. Like you can literally water them every day <laughs> and they'd probably be happy. I probably wouldn't say other day, every three days, um, four days, I don't know, depending on the size of the pot, whatever you've got, anyway. Just, let's move on. Um, anyway, it requires a lot of water. They are very, very, very thirsty little babies. So I was like, okay, she wasn't doing very well. She started to decline and look a little sad. So I decided that I was going to put her into a plastic pot. And that would make everything better. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> that did not make everything better. She is still sad. She definitely needs to be cleaned, but that's not the problem because I have cleaned the leaves and that didn't help. Um, I give her all the water she needs. She's got enough light. <laughs> I'm just stumped. I don't know if it's like a bum plant. I fertilize it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I think, I like I'm not gonna stop until it dies. Hopefully it doesn't die, but I, I really just need to figure out what's going on with this plant. So if you have any ideas, preferably something I haven't tried, <laughs> then please let me know because they're just beautiful plants. And this thing was stunning, stunning when it was healthy. And I just, I can't, I don't. So. She's not providing a whole lot of peace right now. Let's just move on. May I introduce to you <laughs> this begonia. So this is, <laughs> there you go, this is a close up. This is or was, I mean it still is I guess, a begonia black mamba or something like that. Um, anyway, this plant was doing well. And then once I was a little late to the watering game, about six months ago, and it just, it lost the will to live. It does not want to anymore, to anything, to live, to grow. It just, it, I mean, it looks okay, but it was this huge, full, gorgeous plant. It had big leaves and like, look, <laughs> this is, <laughs> so when I say, and you guys have heard me say it before that I'm not a begonia person, the proof is in the pudding, <laughs> let me tell you. Anyway, so that, um, it actually needs to be watered right now. Can you hear that? It's kind of crunchy. I think it's funny because you're at that point where like you don't really care for a plant because it's caused you grief or maybe it isn't what it once was. So you tend to give a few shits less about it and that just makes the whole thing worse. It makes you not like that plant, <laughs> nor want to care. So I think that if I paid a little more attention to this plant and gave it what it required and what it needed and what it wanted, I think that it would grow much better. I think it would look lovely and full. And I think that I would actually like this plant again. And I think that when you watch a lot of people's videos of their sad plants or plants that aren't doing so well, I can almost like, I bet you like 75 to 80 percent of the time it's plants that just for whatever reason aren't doing well so they're like oh this plant I hate I don't do anything with it I can't stand it 
Um, <laughs> and we just we just start to not care about them. So I think that's where this plant is at. So uh, immediately after this video, I'm gonna go water this plant because she crunchy lady. So let's move on to the next plant. Plant number four. Although, I feel like not, I feel like everybody kind of has one of these. Do you have one of these? Let me know. Throw it down in the comments if you have one of these that looks like this. So, <clears throat> this was my very first orchid purchase. I've never owned an... <laughs> I just poured water all over my face. I forgot I watered it today. Good job, Nikki! Anywho, um, I've never owned an orchid before until I bought this one. For a while it did really well. And I feel like that's where they get you. It's like, it's like you know when you buy a car and then like the day the warranty runs out, the car just like refuses to run anymore? I feel like that's orchids. Anyway, um, I'm going to need to do a little research. Admittedly, I haven't super looked into why this is going on. I mean, this piece is toast. It's, it's a hard, there is no moisture left in that stick. It's just there because, <laughs> because I have ignored it, I guess. Um, anyway, so if you watching are an orchid specialist <laughs> or someone who knows how I can make this orchid rebloom. Um, these two top leaves are rather healthy. These bottom ones <laughs> are like wrinkly and floppy. Um, but it's not dead, but it's definitely not what I would call thriving or blooming. So if you guys know how I can fix this, would you please tell me because I'm tired of looking at this like sad dead stick. Okay, it's just making me sad. Let's move on to the last plant. Okay, so I thought I'd end the video off with a little bit more of a happy sad plant. <laughs> if, that, if that can be a thing. Um, so this plant you've seen before so I had, so this is my Scandapsis trubii Moonlight. And this plant was given to me by Paula, my amazing plant fairy godmother. And I had it in my greenhouse, which is where I put all the plants that are sensitive little whiny divas. And um, I thought that would be the perfect place for it. I had it in my spag bag. Um, it grew all kinds of roots and let me tell you there are roots in here I mean you can see down here if you can there's roots I don't know if you can see that or not or if I'm just holding it up right at the top here there's this big long root get out of the way moss there anyway so this plant has roots for days but it would not grow another leaf at all. <laughs> so Paula was having the same issue. So she had messaged me one day and she said she had heard that contrary to popular belief, they don't actually like higher humidity. I was like, hmm, interesting. So I took this fussy lady out of my greenhouse and set her on my plant shelf that doesn't get a whole lot of humidity. It gets like the ambient humidity in the room, so maybe 45 to 50%. And wouldn't you know, <laughs> she grew a new leaf. And not only that, but there's another one coming right behind it. Look at that. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, there's another one coming right behind it. So if you have one of these plants and you have it in super high humidity and it's not doing anything for you, stop babying it like I did and just throw it in a more dry location and you'll get new leaves. <laughs> Who knew? I don't know. 
Anyway, so this is kind of like a rags to riches sort of story. And uh, I'm really happy though. They're beautiful plants and I'm really excited to see this leaf open up and this plant actually starting to perform um, and, and live up to its beauty because these are stunning plants when they are healthy and mature and big and beautiful. So that is my sad plant number five that is kind of a better story than the rest. Okay, so that is all of my sad plants. Um, I don't have a whole ton of sad plants. Usually I'm pretty good at figuring out issues and trying to like correct them before they become a super problem, but these five in particular are ones that I had been working on for a while. <laughs> Some that I really didn't care about. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. I think it's over here. Over here? It's down here. <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Please go ahead and hit that. Uh, it really helps, um, you know, show YouTube that you're engaging with my content, that you enjoy the content that I'm putting out. Um, yeah. So stay tuned for my next top five series. I'll probably do a few different ones. My top five this and that, my favorite plants, my top five fastest growing plants and so on and so forth. So that would be a fun thing. Like I said, I know a lot of their channels have done this and I have never jumped on the bandwagon. So here we go, bandwagon. All right, <laughs> I'll wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. It is a huge help to my channel and I really do appreciate it. We are all here at Plants, Pots and Whatnots are trying to make it to 5,000 so that I can give you a free plant. So let's get there so I can just hand things out. Just give things away. <laughs> 5,000 would be a super cool milestone to hit and uh, I've only been at this for a little over a year and the fact that we are over 4,000 blows my little blonde brain. For those of you who are new, I'm actually a natural blonde. You can probably see the roots. Anyways, <laughs> um, and I am so grateful and so extremely blown away that I am even where I'm at. So, um, 5,000 I think is, is a milestone. So I would like to, when we hit 5,000, to make a, make a deal out of it. Let's make a big deal out of it and give away some plants and I'll come up with a really cool video idea um, for my 5,000 subscriber video. I don't know what I'll do. Something fun. And now I'm gonna have to think. Anyway, shut up Nikki. I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. Ugh. Okay, so I'll wrap this up. I love you guys all to bitty bits. Have a great day, night, week, month, and year, and I will see you in the next one. Mwah!